Welcome to Electromagnetics playlist. I, Professor Hites Dulakia, is going to explain you parallel plate capacitor in this session. And here we are deal with to calculate capacitance because of two parallel plate. So first of all, I'll show you one structure of capacitance, which is two parallel plate. And then I'll show you how to have a calculation of capacitance due to two parallel plate. So let us have a geometry first. So I'm just showing you Cartesian coordinate system. So in that, see this is X, this is Y and this is Z. Now in this Cartesian coordinate system, see I'm just showing parallel plate with respect to Z axis. So at Z is equals to zero, you can see one plate is there and I'm just keeping second plate over here at z is equals to distance d and we are deal with to calculate capacitance due to this two parallel plate now see if i say i have positive charge which is there on upper plate and due to this if i say surface charge density that is rho s then obviously on lower plate there will be negative charge and surface charge density that has to be minus rho s over here. So how to calculate capacitance here? So see for a calculation of capacitance, basic formula of capacitance that is C is equals to Q by V. Now for a calculation of charge, we can say charge Q so that is as per surface charge density we can say charge q is equals to surface charge density into area of this surface so that is rho s into a now how to calculate this voltage so here we are dealing with to calculate potential difference so voltage v so that we can calculate as per v is equals to minus integration e d L right now here how to calculate this minus integration EDL so for that first of all we need to understand what is the direction of electric field so if you observe because of this plus charge direction of electric field that is happening in this direction right and because of this minus charge direction of electric field that is in same direction and that is going inside the plate right because of minus charge so here if you calculate total electric field so that is electric field due to plus charge let us say it is e1 plus electric field due to minus charge let us say it is e2 and that is happening below minus z direction that is happening in minus z direction right so electric field that is addition because of one plate and second place and that is there in downward direction right so here electric field electric field that is e and that is equals to by direction i'm just showing it due to one plate it is rho s by 2 epsilon 0 into minus az direction plus because of e2 it is there as per rho s by 2 epsilon 0 into minus az direction and here we need to do this e dot dl right so this will be electric field will be now minus my see this is what minus and addition of this two will be rho s by epsilon 0 into minus rho s by epsilon 0 into Z direction. Now here we are deal with to have this right. So if you now calculate potential right. So now we can say voltage. So that will be V is equals to now you see that voltage that we are deal with to calculate it from DL with respect to DL and that is varying from 0 to D. 
so minus 0 to d right that is how it is varying and if you place this electric field so that is minus rho s by epsilon 0 into dz instead of dl i need to write dz and az dot az that will get 1 right so minus minus will get plus rho s by epsilon 0 and z where limit is varying from 0 to d and if you place this limit this will be rho s d by epsilon 0. So now we got potential and we know the charge that is rho s into a so we can place that in capacitance formula that is q by v. So let us say this charge is equals to equation 1 and this potential is equals to equation 2 and this capacitance formula that is a major formula and we will follow this process for all different capacitor so let us say this is equation a so put 1 and 2 in equation a so we'll be having this c is equals to q by v where q is rho s into a and v that is rho s d by epsilon 0. So you will be having capacitance and that is epsilon 0 epsilon r a by d that we can say in general like see epsilon 0 is only there here we have considered it for free space but if there is a dielectric material then we need to place epsilon r over here. So this is generalized formula for capacitance this is generalized formula for capacitance for parallel plate epsilon 0 epsilon r a by d now there are few more things that we need to know and one of that is what is energy stored in capacitor so energy stored in capacitor so how to calculate that so energy stored in capacitor that we can calculate as per basic formula that is half cv square now see sometimes you will be given with charge and capacitance so from charge and capacitance we can calculate voltage so you can have this formula in terms of c and v as per half cv square you can have this formula in terms of q and c so for q and c formula v will be q by c so you will be finding that is what q square by 2c and you can have same formula in terms of uh, v and q and that will be half q is qc square so that is how you can have right so relatively you can make calculation by having c is equals to q by v and you can identify that by unknown quantity and there is one more thing that is very essential in parallel plate capacitor and that is energy density in capacitor and how to calculate that so see energy density in capacitor so for energy density in capacitor we can calculate that by w is equals to half epsilon 0 mode of e square now see energy that is having a unit in terms of joule right and energy density that is half epsilon 0 e square and unit of energy density that is joule per meter cube so these are very essential formula and this is very useful in solution of examples so in future i'll show you some examples based on parallel plate capacitor that is very interesting even so whenever you have this type of question based on parallel plate capacitor so first of all you just take c is equals to q by v for surface charge q is equals to rho s into a and potential so that is minus edl this is a standard process which we will follow in every cases right so v is equals to minus edl here total electric field because of both of this plate that will be e1 plus e2 and that is going in minus z direction so i have mentioned that with respect to z right so minus rho by rho s by epsilon 0 into az and that we are putting it in this potential 
so you will be getting this capacitance that is q by v that is epsilon 0 epsilon r a by d and energy is half c v square and energy density is half epsilon 0 e square. So you can give your valuable suggestion based on this topic E1 and in future you will be finding many more examples E1. In next session, I will explain you capacitance by coaxial cable. So stay tuned with this channel. You will be understanding how to have a calculation of capacitance by coaxial cable. Thank you so much for watching this video.